Hey everyone, it's Selena here at Amore Fabrics. Welcome back to A Daily Deal. The Daily Deal, if you guys see this, this should be Saturday at noon. All these items I'm going to show you are already in the shop. Um, if you're new here, hi, hello. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. <clears throat> this channel, I try to provide you guys with some crafty products that are unique, different, handmade, or from around the world. And my goal is to, you know, make you guys happy. So here I am, guys. I'm going to dig on in. Um, I have three daily deals. Usually I do one, possibly two daily deals um, in one daily deal. But in this case, I had so many choices and I wanted to give you guys those options. Now, the cool thing about the daily deal, if you spend over $35 USA, it is free shipping. Um, also, there's gift with every purchase that you do. Um, and which I'll show you guys that. And there's also a gift with purchase of every, for two kits. If you buy two kits of the daily deals, it's a great daily deal gift. Um, so I will dig into that. But first, thank you guys all for the love and support on social media, liking these beautiful envelopes that I created. Um, they were just so much fun. So cute. And those who had questions about what is the envelope made out of, the envelope is simply made out of, um, vintage wallpaper that is embossed. I don't know if you can see that in the lighting. Um, it is that uh, wallpaper that um, you can paint and put on the wall, obviously wallpaper. Um, and it was just sturdy. It was really thick. It feels like paper. Sorry, not paper, but like fabric. And um, I zigzag stitched, antique zigzag stitch around the entire thing. Um, and I put embroidery on top of each. So the listing for all these items are down below. Down below is the direct link to the shop. I'm doing the direct shop link because when you go there, you're going to see all these individually. Usually in daily deals, I do one listing and there's a drop down menu. In this case, no, there are so many options and I wanted you guys to choose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you each and every one of these. And then when I'm done with that, then I'm going to open up to show you what's all inside this folder. I'll give you a sneak peek and tell them if you want to stick around. Inside the folder is like this. Well, not exactly like this because um, I made sure that I didn't paperclip any pages or anything. I was worried about transportation, that the paperclips would indent papers and put marks on the papers. So when you do get your kit, this is a display kit. Obviously, that's going in there too. Um, um, and I just wanted it to look pretty. But when we did these kits, I did them assembly line. So there's paper on top of paper on top of paper. I didn't make the display so pretty when you open it up like this. Um, I wanted this to, split this to be flat, not going to be ruined or crinkled. There should be a chipboard in this along with some bubble. I'm going to probably put some bubble wrap on these buttons. I'm afraid in transportation they'll poke through or damage something. So I'm going to make sure that that doesn't happen. All right, I'm going to go inside these um this envelope at the very end, but I wanted to show you each and every envelope that I have. Um, and so you can have an idea. So you obviously have this one, or I've only have one of these. I have this one here, which, oh gosh, I'm in love with. It's just absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> and um, so this obviously, guys, I'm showing you kit number one before I go and show you all those. There's kit number two. There's the large junk journal um, quilted kit, which I'll open up one of these. But I want to show you I have them in pinks, blues, and in purples. Also, these are all individual listings as well. I think I have like 30 plus listings of these. I call this the large one because it's a larger pack. Um, and uh, they're just absolutely gorgeous. And then I have the minis, which as you can see here, um, the size difference and the journal covers. There's two journal covers in each. But I'm going to open up one of each. To give you guys an example and I'll tell you the number of the one I opened up in case you want to run over there and grab it but I'll do that in a bit so that's kit one kit two and then obviously the paper and femur kit is three I did this um, instead of doing one kit because I wanted you guys to have choices say you didn't want the um, ephemera pack you just want the quilted junk journal cover kits um, and that's it or maybe you want one of each say you like this cover and you absolutely love kit number two um, and the shop that matches this cover. So like I said, when you go to the, the, the shop, you're going to see the entire kit of each one that I have here. And you get to pick whatever junk journal covers and stuff you like and all that. Again, I'm probably sound redundant, but I wanted you to have choices. I'll dig into those here in a minute. 
Um, and then I'll show you guys the gift with purchases. So cute. All right. So I'm so excited. Can you guys tell? <laughs> I've worked for like a month or two on this and I've been, it's been in process and it started all because of this. A seed packet. Yes, I was planting sunflowers. It's garden season time. And I went into the garage to grab my pods and everything. And I came across this wallpaper. I had five rolls of it just sitting on the rack. And I thought, well, I put it on the table and like, geez, it's beautiful. I could probably make it into a folder. And then bam, this happened. So, all right. So back to what we have. We have this one here. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Look at that one. It was so much fun making these. I have this one there. Oh, those are probably curious. They want to know which one's my favorites. I really love daisies. Um, I love cottage chic and all that, but I just love the neutralness of this. And I love the brown leather buttons. I'm showing you two of them because the pattern is different on some of them. So when you go to this listing, there's going to be a drop down menu just for these. Um, to show you which one do you want kind of thing. Like if you want the stretch cross or you want the bouquet in the middle. Anyways, I was kind of, uh, took a lot of attention to a lot of these, <laughs> as you could tell. All right, there's that flower basket. And I'm going to have to move these and go to the next ones. Yeah, they're just simply fun. And if anything, I wanted to keep them all. I have two of these. Um, the buttons are different on the other one. Again, there'll be a drop down menu on this listing. You can pick which one you like. But look at that details. So beautiful. Another basket. Like I said, some of these I have two or three of these. Just gorgeous. We have lovely ladies. <laughs> Pretty. This one is a simply sweet and kind of chic-y. Just sweet. I would definitely call her sweet. And there's another beautiful bouquet. Got like a lily of some sort. Um, also some embroidery. And this one looks like it's a cross stitch, but it is definitely different totally caught my attention. All right. So there are those and let me move them nicely. Oh, it was quite some work. I got bends and bends going here. Okay. I'm going to put these guys over here and we'll do them next. If they're still sticking around, hi and hello. All right. So let's go with gift with purchase here in a minute. I got my display going a mess here. Had it all so pretty and I'm so excited and <laughs> we'll get to it. Okay. OCD kicking in again. Okay. So again, like I said, every gift with purchase, we'll get a seed packet and it was, it's actually full. As you can tell, I've been using this one. Um, and I picked sunflower and you're probably curious, like why sunflower? Well, sunflower is, I had so many choices in flowers and what I wanted to do when I searched on the internet and I thought about getting the vintage seed packets just for your displays, but I don't think it really matters um, because it's a beautiful flower. You can use it for your pockets or whatever, but I wanted to actually send you seeds because um, the growth and the how, you know, it's almost like giving like, for instance, like a flower here, that seed you put it in the soil, it grows new flowers. It's just like the gift of giving pay it forward. So this is my gift for purchase of anything. Um, obviously not only in daily deal, but in the shop that day, but um, it just, I hope encourages you to plant some. You know, and that seed is going to grow into a beautiful sunflower, many sunflowers, and it's going to provide so many other seeds for the birds, bees, and butterflies, and um, pollen, all that. It's a, it goes, it kind of like pays it forward. So that's why I picked sunflower. It does so many good things. And uh, so that was that. And then every gift with purchase as well, we'll get a spool of, of uh, ribbon, which I, this one, this kit came with, you are my sunshine. That was too cute. That's perfect. But there's so many other spools. They'll be random. So I'll be grabbing from out of there and uh, throwing them in each kit along with the seed packet. That's gift with purchase. Now, if you pick out two kits today, the gift with purchase for that is my handmade uh, dyed doilies. It's a pack of four. I had so many sitting around and I thought, geez, if they buy two kits, I will just add this in there. Um, and you have four cute hand dyed doilies. And um, you get your seed packet and you get your ribbon, which can't beat that, right? What a, what a gift. So that is my gift. Again, I'm excited about the sunflowers. I thought about doing a quick little video showing you guys um, my sunflowers that are growing, but um, I didn't know how to add that into this video. I've been kind of out of the loop of how to do those kind of things for a while. 
And um, I figured you guys are more anxious about getting into the daily deal than concerned about my sunflowers. <laughs> so that's that. All right, so let's quickly dig into the envelope. When you get an envelope, um, pretty much what you see is what you get, but mind you, the fabric pieces might be different um, and the, some stamps might be different because um, a lot of vintage items, it's hard to duplicate. So the folder will look like this. Everyone's going to get a pink folder. And in it, you'll have this cute little pack that will be in a piece of plastic in here because it's kind of little things. Um, I did, every kit will have three stamps. Um, I'm trying to do one butterfly, one flower, and one bird. Um, some may, it all depends. We did an assembly line. So like, again, all are different. I did my best, but you'll have three garden floral like stamps, which is cool. Uh, every kit will get these. Look at these mini playing cards. Aren't they gorgeous? Just cute little birds on there. Um, there's going to be a ton of cards in here, guys. I had a lot of garden floral. Every kit will have that. Um, the embellishment I put in here is I'm in love with this. I had this like leftover from one of the saris and this cute flower. I thought there was another flower in there. We might find it. But I thought, geez, that would be a cute stem. Say maybe here, like, like the ruffle page. Each kit's going to have a ruffle page. Again, for those who see my video before, the page won't be folded. This is display. I'll have the page flat in your folder like this. So you can fold it any way you want to. But this is just a display to show you a ruffle page. And also every kit, the ruffle color might be different. I just kind of randomly put them in there. I was thinking to myself when I thought self, it would be really cute. That would be a cute stem in the end. And this flower, it almost like a, like a flower on a page would be cool. And I thought I was going to put it on there. And I thought, nah, what if somebody wants it for something else to embellish some other way, you know, however they want to. So again, you get the point. I put that in there. You guys can kind of get, you know, do it as you please. Your choice is not what I want, but exactly what you want. All right. So every kit will get um, like this little calling card um, has like scriptures on it. I'm not trying to throw a religious out there, but it was just so beautiful and Victorian and gardenish. Um, and hopefully you'll like it. Maybe it'll be something that meant something to you when you read it. So who knows? Plus it looks really cute on that page, I think. All right. So what you see here, you are getting. So I know these are old receipts, game papers. Those have seen guest checks. There'll be a blue and a pink in there. Um, again, there's going to be stationary papers, game papers. Um, like I said, it was, this is going to be packed. Oh, I forgot. Um, this one here, I folded its display as well. I had some leftover um, different, uh, oh gosh, my brain just went boop. Um, uh, geez, Louise, you guys know what this is, so I'm not going to say it. On the leftover of embroidery pieces that I had, I just kind of just put them on the edge of a page. So you have two pages, but again, it will be flat in your kit. So, you know, that is there. Each kit will have three paper doilies. I hope you, I don't sound too hurried because I'm excited to get into the junk journal cover kits. I hope you guys have already ran on over there to check out to see what is there because they, they tend to just fly off the shelf. So you want to go get yours before you um, miss out on the ones you want. Bird pages. So you're going to find a lot of bird pages from, see, so see, there's double sides. You can cut them up, put them on pages, put tags, what have you. All vintage bird pages from bird books. What's really cool too, look at this. That's so cool. What a cute page. Cute. Okay, I'm going to hurry it along so I kind of show you what I got here. So again, I made a pretty display. This is actually a postcard. Each kid should get a postcard like this. It's a square one. See, now you know why this is a display. I'm concerned when I ship it, see how the paper clip did an indentation on it? I was worried about that. But each kit will have the paper clips like this. And it will have these cute little tab floral papers. I think there's like five floral tags here. Each kit will have that playing card. I think this one or there's so many types. I forget, but they're all beautiful and vintage like this. There's those tabs. And I'm going to start collecting those paper clips because when I ship this one, I do not want it to... Um, hurt anything okay so this is the stationary kit set again i'm taking that off like worried about indentations so you can design it the way you want this is the old style 
cards envelopes they're all random they're pretty much the same but they won't be the same design kind of thing and uh so bear with me as um we go through this like i said they're all cards and stuff stationary like i said it's hard to get all the same look at that cute oh sunflowers go figure on um, that sunflower packet yep this is cute i'm not sure which envelope this is going to go in but um, it's cute. It's nice to see how this all came together. I open up some of those bins of stuff I have. Like I said, I separate the garden floral beach themes for junk journal kits. So that's stationary. Um, and um, how cute. Look at this beautiful retro. How cute. Um, it's like an envelope with that one. And I just kind of just did a swimming line. I have a new worker now. I guess I could talk about her as I dig through this. Um, and her name is Lexi. I hope Lexi's watching this. Um, hey, Lexi. So she helped me. Uh, wrapping paper. That's like a, like a, it's really cool. Put that in there in case you want to make that into a page. It's just gorgeous. There'll be two uh, paper doilies in there. They're pretty much the same. There may be one that's different than what you see here, but it doesn't matter either way. Um, so yeah, Susie Q, my little kitty's in here rubbing against my leg. I wouldn't be surprised if I have a cat trying to jump up here. Again, this kit is packed. Here's another one. I'm going to undo that, guys. As I said before, there's another fabric tab. Another playing card. Like I told you, there's going to be plenty of those. More. Oh, this came. I should have put the books with me to tell you what books they came from. But aren't those gorgeous? You get two in each. This is cute. Again, this is display on one of those coloring pages. Isn't that cool? Sorry, there goes a cat. She's so clingy to me. You okay, Sue? Come here. I'm going to press pause and check on her really, really quick and see if she is okay. Okay, cat is safe. Told you. I warned you she was coming. All right, one of those coloring pages. Fold it in half to show you. But look at You can do all those coloring in there if you want to. I'm going to just show you, and you guys kind of see what they are. Each kit will have two. Music pages. Oh, my gosh. I had so many cool music pages. Look at that. Um, so one, two, three. They're all variety. See? Four music pages. We'll go in there. Um, some garden pages. You can see the garden pages. Some wrapping paper. I have it folded in half. It's like this floral. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Each kit will have a vintage envelope um, for uh, that is in 1800s. They're all different, so they're not all the same. But here's one that's in this one. You can see the 1800s, and this one's inkwell written. But um, each kit will have a vintage envelope from the 1800s um, that they can add to their kit. Isn't that gorgeous? I think so. Just too cute. So there's that. More. Let's see, here's the other one that cute some poetry those those are from the 1930s poems we got some planner paper oh gosh the vintage typewriter paper oh my gosh look at that stuff beautiful here we're going through the old papers now different papers you guys have seen these before they're all old and they're great for your everything you see here there's two of those of course, you had to put some of that in there. Accounting papers. Isn't that cute? I got these from an estate sale years ago. Um, hit the jackpot. There were so many. Um, this is fabric paper. So it's kind of thick, which is nice. It might be, it almost reminds me of scrap of paper that's kind of thick. <clears throat> and it's, it's like a fabric type. All right, let's see here. Boy, like I said, it's packed. So about a pound or so of papers. I didn't count them yet, and I guess I should. Um, here we go. We got more stuff. There's another paper clip, like I said, another tab. And you can see over here, look at all those fabric tabs. Aren't they cute? And here's the other flower. Let's see. I know we have, this is how many playing cards we got going on here. That's four, five. So far, we have seven playing cards in there. Not bad, right? That's a good deal. And they're garden florals, so those can get pricey. All right, I did a set of envelopes that are just not typical envelopes. They're the ones that are the peel and seal, um, right inside. So there's one, two, three, four, 
five of those. Look at this white one. They're nice. That's not a peel and seal, but it's a pretty white one. I'll give you a set of variety. Some more bird pages and uh, not only bird, but flower. This came from an almanac of some sort. Um, I thought they're cute. Each pack, I have one of each. Playing card stuff. Some more vintage wrapping paper. This here is just on there. It's like a sticky. You could take off a manila envelope because I know a lot of you guys make journals out of those manila envelopes. And that's the end of the pack. Oh, looks like we have some more garden pages. Okay, these are orchids. Dictionary pages for orchids. Have you ever seen that before? A dictionary of orchids? I thought that would be cool to put in there. All right, guys. That is what a packet is. Let's see the large and many um, quilted kits that you can get. I gotta put that together. Like I said, we got blue. I can go through each and every one and show you guys without opening it the, what the covers look like. Uh, but I'm gonna just do one right now. Let's just open up pink. This is kit number two for those who wanna go over there. I'll repackage two back up. This is the large kit. How am I doing on time? We yeah, looks like 21 minutes this is the long video. Long for me at least. You guys know me, I'm like done within five minutes. <laughs> All right, kit number two. So each kit, I'll put the embellishment things to the side. All right, we'll have two junk journal covers. This one here is what you have. And what's so cool about these, this is the best part. They're all hand stitched. I took two of my very favorite vintage quilts. They're Grandmother's Flower Garden. This here, I forgot the name of this pattern. Um, I'm not in the best of minds. I only had two cups of coffee today. But I took them off my shelf and I cut them up for you guys. So... As you can see, hand stitched through and through. Um, cotton batting. It's not poly field, so it is good. Um, there's a couple of kits that are in the shop that you're going to see uh, when you go to the shop that will have a different pattern. Uh, but you, what you see is what you get in your listing. So you might like the other ones as well. But I, most of them are these two patterns we got going on here. Now these are, I think I ran it down. The kits are, oh geez, I forgot the measurement. Let me go get a ruler really quick. I know I have one here. I forgot. So the average, let me show you the larger one first. Nearly 11 inches by 11. 11 by 11, but you can cut it down to size. And it's going to be really easy to quilt with the zigzag stitch on the edge. Um, so, and this one here looks like we are around 10 by 11 and a half. So you guys will see that that's they're pretty good size you know that's why i call it the larger kit so this is kit number two um and you guys can check out the others each kit mm. will have a hanky uh, that is embroidered and this one is this embroidered one um, some will have a hanky that is cut um, but at least you have one full the other ones are like like that because i put half and half into another display and it's pretty much all you need especially for a page a corner pocket. Um, here is a part of one as well. But look at that. Isn't that cute? Um, and then each kit will have this handmade um, quilt block. As you can see, someone had stitched it. But I thought this would be so cool, not necessarily on this, but on a page. Let's see if we can find a page here. I just thought it would look cute. And someone could sew it onto a page or use it part of a page. I don't know if you could do it as a flip or anything, but it just there's something beautiful about them. Again, when you go to your kit that you see, it's what you see is what you get. So you get to pick yours. Each kit, well, this kit and every kit you see will have the same embroidered block. My mom, she had cut these out of a quilt and I thought they're so cute. All just like that same pattern and everything. This kit, every kit will have a button card and this kit has hearts. Each kit will have embroidery floss, a whole thing of it. Um, this kit has white. Every kit is a different color. Each uh, large kit will have a hardware set, as you can see here, for bead making. Um, I forgot the millimeter and everything, but it is made for like dangles and things like that. I did like a 18 or 20 inch of that. That would help you. Ah, the best part. I put this together. Each kit will have this little bead 10. And in it, let's see if I can show you, I put in two of ceramic, look at these old ceramic beads. If I can show you. You can see the flower. 
blue and pink. Some are blue and blue, some are pink and pink. When you see your listing, you'll see exactly what you see is what you get. And there, I don't know if you can see it, is glass beads that are like little leaves. Uh, trying to show you the best I can. Cute little bead pack, just quite adorable. And it's a cute 10 too. All right, so that is number two. But as you can see, I don't need to open up any more large ones because you can see, you know, the same thing. So the minis are the same thing, but just a smaller version of that. Again, when you go to listing, what you see is what you get, which is nice. So what I can do if you're still around is just show you the fronts of each packet. But again, I suggest just go straight over to the shop <laughs> um, and just get the, you know, the kit that you want. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to message me. Um, yeah, I don't think I need to go through all the kits, like I said, but I can do that um, if you're still around. Let me put these in the order of the thing I have here. I have them in order in a bin. So that's two, this is three, that's four, and that's five. All right, that's what I'll do. All right, let me get another, put you on pause, get another bin so I can keep the order without making a mess. So hang on one second. Okay, so here is kit number one. You can see there. All right, here is, you've seen kit number two already. Here's kit three. It looks like we got blues. All right, here's kit four. We got that pink daisies in there. That's one I think you see in the same kind of daisy. So funny, my husband's mowing. Seems like every time I do a video, my husband's mowing. Here's kit number five. Purple. See the purple? Sorry, the glare. I got my bright lights on. Here is kit number six. Purples. You see in there, I see some yellows. Here's kit number seven. Purples again. Alright, guys, kit number eight. Ooh, that beautiful rose. All right, let's go to kit number nine. We got blues. Here's kit number 10. Again, you want to go check the listing because the, the covers are all different, even though they're the same, similar, the poppies. Kit number 11, purples. Let's quit. Kit number 12, we got some blues going on here. Kit 13, we got some rose, almost like a minty. Kit 14, here we go. 14 has like this cute little button with a pot of flowers. See, the prints are changing, so you got to check out, go over there and check them out. Here's kit number 15. See, there's another pattern. Here's kit number 16. Looks like a, an embroidered uh, hanky. So here's that one. Kit 17. Look at that. Yeah, let's see. Kit 18. This is going to be the longest video I've had in a while. It's going to take a long time to upload. 19. My hair is 20. Beautiful. And I try to put these as a beautiful coordinates. Here's tw uh, 21, another one of those roses. Here's 22. My hair is 23. Here's 24, blue. That beautiful hearts. These are all ready to go and ship out, guys. Um, did I say 25? I don't know if I see 25 anywhere. <laughs> There's 26. <laughs> Ran out of my, my thought process there. There's 27. We got some greens going on in there. 28. Twenty-nine. These are all the large kits still. Thirty. Make sure we had enough for everyone. There's a the letter S. I almost thought about keeping this one for me, Selena. 
but like I can't keep it all. 31, look how lovely. Here is 32, just pretty. Here is 33. All right, and 34. So I know I had 34 of them. And then here are the minis. You've seen what? Here's one. Um, two. I don't know where two's at, but here, we'll just... Here's three. I think I got them out of order. Here's seven. That's okay. I'll put them back in order. Oh, there's 25. Remember, I was missing 25 in large. Um, okay. I guess my thing wasn't as in order. Let's see here. We can do. Here's a two. Sorry, guys. These ones are out of sync. <laughs> here's a four. I have to put them back in my bin. And sink there. Here's an eight. Oh, look at number nine. Look at those buttons. It's purplish. There's ten. There's eleven. Look at those buttons. There's twelve. Yeah, there's a thirteen. All right, guys, run on over there. I don't know if I set the price or not. They're actually really good sites, so I know this is very late in the game here. What do I got going on here? So it looks like the um, the folder kits right here, those are going for 32. The large quilting packs that I put away are going for 28. These minis are going for 22. All right, guys, run on over there, guys. I know I'm kind of all over the place on this one. I'm excited just to get it out there for you guys. You guys have a good one. All right, enjoy that daily deal.